For the past year or so, a certain YouTube user has been harassing individuals who believe that Apollo was faked. His username has gone from Fractal Dimensions to Luke Quixote of San Jose to Luke Quixote San Jose. For some unexplained reason, he regularly closes his accounts and sets up new ones. Perhaps to erase video and comment evidence, or to get around blocking, I don't know. His new username is obviously a premeditated attack, as it is a combination of two names that I once mispronounced. Not knowing the story of Don Quixote, and thus not knowing the X was silent, I read Quixote as Quixote. And because very few people in Australia have Spanish names, I was not aware that the J in Jose is supposed to be pronounced like an H. It was an honest mistake, and I have learned from it, but this troll and others continue to bash on about it. My problem with this guy started over some pointless and totally off-topic argument over whether doubling of loudness can equate to the doubling of decibels. During that argument, Fractal Dimensions, as he was known then, said that the loudness of a mosquito at 3 meters is 30 decibels. I had a look at Wikipedia's entry on decibels and noticed a statement saying that a mosquito at 3 meters has a sound level of 20 micropascals, which is the quietest noise that can be heard and corresponds to 0 decibels. It seemed likely that he'd seen that statement and somehow misread it. I sent back a polite comment to point out the mistake, without making any fuss over it. Now, most people would have just acknowledged the oversight and dropped it at that point, and certainly I was ready to forget all about it. But oh no, not Mr. Dimensions. Rather than acknowledge any fault on his part, he went on to make a video claiming that he made the mistake on purpose in order to prove that I look at Wikipedia. His fuss with me over Wikipedia stems from one communication I had on one of my videos. A detractor pointed me in the direction of Wikipedia's entry on the moon hoax. I responded that the wiki article on the moon hoax was just a rehash of the same stale arguments from Phil Plate and Jay Windley's respective sites. Fractal Dimensions took this quote and twisted it to imply that I criticised the detractor for using Wikipedia in general, which I never did. Also, just prior to that, he made another video called Jarrah White and Friends Can't or Won't Answer Simple Questions, basically saying or suggesting that I don't believe nuclear energy is real, another totally false claim on his part. During a comment fight, a discussion of the Apollo 1 fire came up. He didn't like what I had to say, and started deleting my comments. I then brought out a video response titled, The Apollo 1 Facts That Fractal Dimensions Can't Handle, in which I asked him to answer these questions about the Apollo 1 fire that he deleted on his video. He didn't answer any, he just complained about the questions and everything else. So what do we know about Fractal Dimensions, aka Luke Quixote San Jose? Not a lot. Based on the information he gives out, it seems he is some kind of physics researcher who lives in the UK. Also, on his homepage, he claims to be a lecturer. YouTube user Dwayne Damon, aka StrayDog02, put up with his antics for three days running. After which, Quixote claimed that his real name was Mike Hunt. This led to a case of mistaken identity, for which I apologise. Quixote commented along these lines. He stated that he used the name Mike Hunt as a gag name. I honestly didn't pick up on the gag name as it's not something I'd use. Using joke names are beneath me. Quixote took responsibility for the mistaken identity and apologised to the individual involved. To be perfectly frank, given Quixote's repeated childish personal attacks and cyber harassment of other users, I'm seriously starting to doubt his claims of being a lecturer and physics researcher. 
Luke Quixote may sound like a lecturer in his narration, but within the YouTube community, he certainly doesn't act like one. Quixote's behaviour should not be tolerated from someone as reputable as a university lecturer. No exaggeration, his hateful comments surpass even the nastiest of Astro Brand 2, which is hard to believe. At one point, Quixote sent me a message saying that the funeral video of me scattering Ralph Renee's ashes was a video of me emptying a bag of crap into the sea. A lot of his videos are straight out parroting of Astro Brand's remarks, such as this one about hydrostatics, in which he claims Rene didn't understand Archimedes' principle of buoyancy, which he knows to be untrue, by the way, because I already explained so many times that Rene's only objection to the principle was that it should be better worded. Now, I won't get into that here because it has already been discussed to death. But if you want to see a detailed discussion of that, it's in part 5 of my video titled Q&A, 32 Questions for Propagandists. Instead, let's have a look at some creative objections that are unique to Luke Quixote, and the subject of today's video. In one of his recent videos, he claims I calculated the Moon's gravity to be 216 times lower than the Earth's. 